grouped by and distinct or all. Every function can have the option of distinct or all. All is the default. So select count expression in parentheses is actually doing select count all expression. Distinct is a, an operator which will select the distinct values from the expression. In effect, every set of non-distinct values makes up a group. Selecting distinct will select the first value from each group. A little more about distinct. Distinct retrieves only the first row from a duplicate set or a set of duplicates. Distinct actually will execute on a string value of the row retrieved. In other words, you couldn't pass a number directly into distinct. Let's look at some examples. First of all, I'm going to set the name format or the column called name to format A20. Now let's run a query that picks the categories and counts all the category IDs from both the category and show table as a join. Remember we have a lot of categories in the show table, a lot of duplicates, and we're simply going to group by the category name and we're going to count every single show ID. What we've done is we've grouped effectively the category names in the show table. Now let's apply the distinct clause as opposed to the all clause. Now you should be able to see the difference here. This has found all the duplications of categories in the show table. In other words, there are nine shows under this category. There are ten under this category. What's happened with the application of distinct is it's only found the first row or element in the show table of each category. So it's sorted by the category names and then it's only found the first of each category from the show table. More about distinct. So we can place distinct or all into a function applied to an expression. We can also use distinct across a whole set of columns or expressions in a select statement. We can apply the distinct to a set of columns in a select statement by parenthesizing them. Note that what is parenthesized by the distinct will be the columns that will be outside of the group by clause. Let's take a look at some examples using distinct. First of all, let's count the rows in the show table. We have 152 rows in the show table. Now let's count distinct category IDs in the show table. We only have seven category IDs. Remember this query? This is a join of category and the show table and we found only the first occurrence of each category within the show table. Seven rows. We have seven distinct categories in the show table. Now let's find all the actual category IDs in the show table. All these rows, 152, lots of different categories, but a lot of duplications. Now let's go and find the distinct category ID in the show table, or each distinct category ID in the show table. And we have 6, 12, etc., etc., seven rows selected once again. Using distinct on multiple columns. This gives us an error. The syntax of distinct on multiple columns actually applies to the result of the select statement as it passes through the table. So it actually applies to the string result of this select statement. Here we have 32 rows, the distinct category venue combinations. So we know that this didn't work because we've got numbers. This will work because we're going to take those two numbers and convert them to characters. And there we have it. Distinct requires a string.